Okay, I'm gonna go weigh myself. See how much I weigh today. Last night, I think I weighed like at 167. That was pretty nice. But again, that was just for last night to weigh in. And I don't even weigh myself at night. I weigh myself in the mornings anyway. So that probably wasn't even my real weight. So let's see how much I weigh now. Wow, so I clocked in at 167. That's not bad still. Like, yo, I can't lie. I, I ate some junk food. I did a little dirty bulking because I didn't miss my lunch yesterday. So I had like a burger. Uh, I, I, I can't lie. Like, the bulk is tough. The bulk is tough. But hey, I'm, I'm putting in the work and just trying to make sure I'm able to do what I got to do. Eat what I got to eat to make the gains I want to make. Okay, so 18 pounds left to go. These are not my cookies. Got that coconut milk. The reason why I pour it in this cup first is because this cup measures up, or this mug measures up to a cup. So I'm trying to make sure I get as close to the exact serving size for this meal. So some of you may be like, what the heck are you doing, Simon? But honestly, I don't think I, I don't think I could drink water right now after having the cereal. So I am going to mix my creatine with my chocolate rice milk. Because it says I just gotta mix it into like a cup of, of liquid. So I'm just gonna do that. And then so a cup. This is pretty much a cup. Right, and then I'm going to mix it. And this will be like a pre-workout, I guess. Even though it's not actually a pre-workout, pre -workout, I'm just going to use it as if it was a pre-workout. Even though it does not have the benefits of a pre-workout. I don't think so. I don't care. I just, just want to get my creatine in any way possible. And drinking it with water is not... It don't really have a taste, but it just, it just bugs me. It bugs me. I'd rather drink it with some chocolate milk. But I hope this don't taste like crap either. <laughs> Even though it doesn't really have a taste, but you know, I'm weird. Ah. Wow, that was not bad. I would recommend that you guys use creatine in your chocolate milk if you drink chocolate milk. I can't forget about my fish oils. Man, all these damn pills. Oh my gosh. Uh, all three at the same time. So now it's just time for me to kick back a little, relax, wait for the wait for everything to settle in my stomach, and then go out and do my calisthenics. Should be going to Planet Fitness tonight. Also, I'm, I'm trying to train twice a day, so once in the morning, once at night, not go too too hard, so I'm able to actually train both times. And then yeah, hopefully I can meet Josh there if he's going tonight, and we get some footage in, you know, try out his rings, try out his weighted uh, dip belt and all that stuff so we'll see i'll actually text him like right now so for this summer my primary goal is to achieve the front lever which i've never achieved before because i wasn't practicing it i got my back lever still down packed i would assume or i would say i have to see on camera just to make sure uh i really do got down packed i have to get my x flag back because i totally lost that uh, i'm sure i lost a lot of my strength in my uh human flag but again my primary goal this summer is the front lever uh, is to practice my handstands get my x flag back and yeah that those will be my primary calisthenics goals this summer and of course everything else is kind of just secondary so i would be working on those too but again those are my primary goals and i think i will be able to achieve the, the front lever by the end of august if i just practice it like every day Tell me how I totally forgot it was actually summertime because I was not expecting all these kids <laughs> to come outside. So let me tell you what, the, what I'm doing today. So pretty much I'm doing five sets of 30 second holds for my front lever tuck planche. And then over time I will be progressing to the new uh, progressions obviously. So right now I'm doing it tucked. Soon I will uh, then extend my hips a little bit while keeping my knees at a 90 degree angle. Soon enough I'll go towards doing like one leg extended uh, front levers and soon enough I'll reach my full front lever. So that's pretty much what I'm doing. And in order for me to make it to the next progression, I wanna make sure that I'm able to do 
five sets of 30 second holds after two minute breaks. Once I can do that, I just continuously progress to the new uh, progression. I, I would recommend that you guys do that too, or try it out yourself at least. Okay, so I just completed my five sets of my tuck front levers. Now I can't, I can't tell if it's because I, I, I gain strength pretty fast when it comes to calisthenics. I can't tell if it's because I'm training myself a lot better than I did before my first year because obviously my knowledge has increased on how to train calisthenics. But it's just funny because the first time I actually did this uh, workout or this way of training uh, two days ago, I couldn't even do three full sets of 30 second holds. Doing it today now, two days later, uh, it was pretty much kind of like a walk in the park, except for that last, the last set I did. I didn't record it, by the way. Uh, but the last set I did was a struggle. But the first four sets, I was like, yo, this is like, this ain't too hard. I'm like, yo, I could probably progress to the next progression like today. But of course, I'll do that tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> what's up? <laughs> I'll do that tomorrow, obviously. Or probably at uh, Plant Fitness later on tonight. Hopefully, Josh comes through. But for me, it's just, yo, when you guys, like, it is so imperative that you actually have a training regimen that you're able to compare yourself one day uh compare yourself from one day to a previous day because the way i used to train before was i would just like train sporadically so i wouldn't really have a training regimen on how i would train my calisthenic skills i would just do handstands for an hour all day long i would just try my back levers until i got it but me actually putting sets and reps into this or sets and like a a, a, a a set amount of time that I'm going to do hold these holds, these static holds, it helps me just compare myself from one day to a previous day, which I find really helpful for me at least. So another tip I could give you guys, especially if you have a workout partner, is to video record yourself, whether or not you're posting it on YouTube. So video recording yourself, is remember, when it comes to calisthenics, it's not all about sets and reps and making sure you hit the progressions uh, just because you feel stronger. It's more so important that you actually correct your form. Make sure you're doing all these exercises with the correct form because you do not want to learn any bad habits and then carry that on into your calisthenics progressions. So for me, always I do YouTube, so I naturally would just be recording myself. But as I record myself, I'm able to watch and make sure I'm able to do... Oh, sorry. Go ahead, play. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't hurt yourself. Come on. You can't reach it. <laughs> so anyway, you want to make sure that you are watching yourself, correcting your form. If you have a workout partner, again, someone like me who's pretty trained in calisthenics could correct your form and make sure you're doing everything right so you're not wasting your time. Okay, so that's a good tip for you guys if, if you happen to give a damn. So in case you're wondering, with these dragon flags, I am not actually trying to do sets and reps. I am trying to rep it out, but right now I'm just focusing on controlling it and seeing how long I'm actually able to hold the dragon flag as opposed to just doing reps and sets. If I was just trying to do reps, I would be going a lot faster than I am actually doing it right now. So I'm just trying to make sure I control it, make sure my abs and my core is able to handle it. And I feel like it's a good uh, thing to train if you're really trying to train your front levers. Okay, so it's time for me to get back inside. Let these kids enjoy their park. Because uh, I keep taking it over. Even though it's my park, it's rightly my park. I use it a lot more effectively than these little kids. I'm joking, but anyway, uh, uh, I gotta get back inside. It's like past 10.30 and I gotta make sure I get to work on time because I'm trying to make my paychecks as fat as possible. So I'm gonna go eat my lasagna that I was supposed to have yesterday. And if I could pull it off, I'll have a protein shake too just to get those calories in because I do not want to fall behind on calories. I want to make sure I reach my goal at a, at a reasonable time of 185 pounds. So yeah, uh, let's get this day started. What? <laughs> Fidget spinners, really? Really? This is the hype? Damn, this is addicting still. <laughs> okay, so I got my steroids right here, but I gotta make sure I take it with some food. And then I got my lasagna right here, had it frozen for like the past week or since Monday. Yeah, I suck. So I'm just gonna warm this up for like a good two minutes. Uh, get my calories in and I'm gonna see if I can pull off having uh, a protein shake. And that's the good thing about waking up early. You have more time in the day to eat more food. 
Jeez, waking up early is just the, it's like the key to success. Protein. So how's my lasagna look, guys? Look tasty? <laughs> so can y'all guess what I'm having for lunch? <laughs> More lasagna. Mm -mm -mm. I still got some space in my stomach, so I'm gonna go ahead and have some waffles. Anywho, that is it for this video. Uh, Calisthenics Life, episode three. Uh, I will be going to Planet Fitness tonight to train again, but if I do, that will be a separate video, a different way of training, I don't know. Hopefully Josh will be there. Did I even text him? Oh, I did text him. Okay, good, 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 good. Gonna get ready for work now. I'll take my multivitamins. Go use the washroom, oh my gosh, because my stomach is rambling. Anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, is there anything else I have to say before I go? Uh, no, I don't think so. Enjoying this bulk. Let's see where it goes. Anyway, stay blessed. I am out of here. Done.